Hello and welcome to another week and another video. By some miracle, I slept well last night. Well, actually it wasn't a miracle. It was thanks to the electric fan that I have in my room. Last night it was just boiling in my room. So I made the decision to have it on all night continuously. I got over eight hours, which is really, really good for me. It's just gone 1.30 and it's really starting to hot up now. I think it's like 32 or 33 degrees today. So I'm really starting to suffer now. The morning was pretty good, but now I'm feeling quite worse for wear. Pretty happy though, because the tennis is back on again this week. It's the start of the grass court season. So I'm really happy that I've got that to watch. This week is my birthday week. I'm turning 24, which is quite terrifying because I don't feel 24. <laughs> Usually my depression spikes around my birthday and Christmas because I can't celebrate those events properly. But this year it's not been too bad, so hopefully it'll stay like that. So this is my latest technique for keeping cool. Just a pint glass full of ice, some of which goes into my water that I'm drinking, some of which gets rubbed all over my face. <laughs> really nice I know and some of which I'm just gonna eat because it's currently 32 degrees here but I'm pretty sure it's hotter in this room and I'm really struggling <sighs> this afternoon every time I stood up from my bed I felt like I was gonna black out I took my blood pressure when I was lying down and it was 91 over 63 which is low healthy blood pressure is supposed to be around 120 over 80. I've been drinking water with a little bit of salt in constantly today, but it hasn't seemed to have made any difference. If anything, I just have to get up from my bed more because I have to pee constantly, which isn't ideal. I mean, I probably would be feeling worse if I wasn't drinking all that water, but it's still been a bit of a tough day. Also, as you can probably hear, my hay fever is bad, which is kind of inconvenient when you want to try and sleep. Another hot day tomorrow, so hopefully I sleep well tonight. The last few hours have been pretty weird. I started to get a blinding pain in my head whenever I stood up and I was so hot, it was actually unbearable. I was kind of a bit worried as to how I was gonna cope with the rest of today and then tomorrow as well, because tomorrow is supposed to be as hot as today. But then my dad got back and he brought me up some more ice cubes and I literally had an ice cube like strapped to the back of my neck and I had another one like on my forehead and it really really helped cool me down and help the headache go away which is great. I don't feel too bad now just the usual level of crap in this level of heat so now I'm just going to have my snack in the form of vegetable and fruit juice. It actually doesn't taste too bad which is really good and I'm going to watch the tennis and hope that my headache doesn't come back anytime soon. Archie is a big tennis fan aren't you? Finding it very interesting. I thought I had avoided the usual depression spike that comes with birthdays and Christmases, but this afternoon it seems to have caught up with me a bit. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I've been in a lot of pain today, and my jaw and my head and my neck and, you know, the usual trio. So not being able to do anything all afternoon, the fact that I'm turning 24 tomorrow, you know, I can't do any of the things a normal 24-year-old would do. Go out with your friends for drinks, have a party, go to the cinema even, go out for a meal, you know, I can't do any of that just hard but I'm gonna spend some time with my family tomorrow my grandparents are coming over they're gonna meet Archie for the first time so that'll be really exciting and yeah I'm just gonna try and have as nice a day as possible given what I can do it's my birthday I haven't really felt like it's really been my birthday yet today it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't actually done anything remotely birthday-ish yet obviously my mum was at work today and we have a thing in our family that we have to wait until everyone's there before we can open presents it's just always been like that um cards too with we're, we're taking it to the extreme so yeah i haven't opened any cards or presents yet but my mum's gonna get back about half five quarter to six my grandparents coming over and then i'm gonna have presents then and i'm also gonna treat myself to some homemade rhubarb compote with greek yogurt because it's one of the most delicious things in the world and i haven't had any 
in over a year. So I'm really gonna, really gonna enjoy it when I have it today. I'm having that instead of cake. Unfortunately, lime is not taking any notice of the fact that it's my birthday. Today's followed a pretty similar pattern to yesterday. I felt okay in the morning, but then as the day's gone on, I've got a lot of pain in my head and in my jaw especially. It's just excruciating. So I'm really not feeling great. I think I'm just gonna rest until my grandparents get here. Oh, I need to take tablets. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna rest. Well, that went much better than I was expecting. Miraculously, the pain didn't vanish, obviously, but it didn't get worse when I was downstairs opening my cards and presents and talking to everybody. And that's pretty miraculous because usually when I'm in a lot of pain, talking or moving or being anywhere bright around lots of people is near impossible because it just makes the pain so intense that I want to throw up or pass out or something. So the fact that that didn't happen today is really nice. And I had such a nice time with my family. I got some really lovely presents, which I'll show you tomorrow. I don't have the energy to do it right now. I had a really, really delicious dinner, my favourite. So I've had a really lovely day. It went much better than I was expecting. So that's always nice because usually it's the opposite. <laughs> I definitely think that this birthday went better than last year, so that is a good sign, hopefully. I'm not feeling too bad now, just really tired and my neck's hurting, so I'm going to go to bed. Hopefully I don't pay for it too badly tomorrow, but we'll just have to wait and see. So my pain has been really bad today as a result of everything I did yesterday. Not that I did that much, but I did it when I was already in pain, so it's a kind of a cumulative effect. But it hasn't transferred into a migraine though, which is amazing because usually it does and I'm just kind of laid up in bed for, uh, well, the rest of the day. But there's been moments when it's lifted and this is one of them, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you what I got for my birthday yesterday. So I'll start with the books because I got a few of those. I dithered for ages about which ones I should put on my birthday list and in the end I decided with The Handmaid's Tale because I really want to see the TV show but I want to read the book first because I've heard the TV show is quite different to the book and I know if I watched the TV show first then it would alter my perception of the story when I read the book and I, I wouldn't want that so I want to read the book first. I try and do that with all TV shows that are adapted to books. I actually read the whole of A Song of Ice and Fire before I watched Game of Thrones, which took some dedication, I'll tell you, because those books are long. <laughs> the other book I got was called The Good Immigrant, and this is one I've wanted for a really long time, but I waited for it to come out in paperback because I find hardbacks quite hard to hold. It's basically a collection of 21 essays, yeah, 21 essays by black and ethnic minority writers and personalities in the UK and they basically write about what it's like to be an immigrant in the UK in 2016. I'm really really looking forward to reading this. And then the last book I got was actually a surprise from my sister. She was gonna get me Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them on DVD but my parents got that for me instead. She got me a book called The Intimate Bond, How Animals Shaped Human History and I love books about anthropology, I love books about evolution and the things that influenced our evolution. Generally I don't like surprises <laughs> but I was really pleased with it so I'm really looking forward to reading that. As I said I also got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them from my parents. I'm so excited to watch this because I've read the book of the play script and I think for Christmas one of my friends got me the book of the artwork of the film and so I've looked at that and it just looks so so beautiful so I'm so excited to see the film. And then I got another surprise, again I don't generally like surprises but this was another really good one. My parents got me an essential oil diffuser. I've thought about getting one for a while so I'm really looking forward to trying this. The next thing I got is some clothes, <laughs> it's actually basically exactly the same shorts as the one I'm wearing now but in a different pattern. I got the ones I'm wearing last summer. They are so comfy. Yeah, they're amazing. And then the last thing I got was a new bed sheet set. It's like green palm print. And I think my mum is going to put them on for me tomorrow, so that'll be really nice. Yeah, it was just a really lovely day and just feeling very happy and content, which doesn't really happen for me that often. I haven't done much today at all. I've really just been in bed trying to ride out the pain which I've done pretty successfully, I think, because I'm not feeling too bad now. I'm just gonna watch the second men's semi-final of the tennis and have some dinner and go to bed, like usual, really. So last night was 
interesting, not in a good way. When I did go to sleep, I then just constantly woke up at every tiny little sound, which in the house I live in is all the time. <laughs> I felt really on edge and like something bad was going to happen. And the anxiety has somewhat continued into this morning. I woke up feeling just not myself at all. I didn't sleep that much, but that doesn't usually make me feel like this. And to top it all off, my nausea is back. Not in like a, I need to live in the bathroom type of way, but in a way that makes me feel like I really don't want to eat any food right now. And the only thing that I can think that would have caused it is that I started taking AC Formula 2 again yesterday after having run out a week or two ago. It's so funny because yesterday it was four weeks since I stopped taking my diabetes medication. And I know I said at the beginning that I felt like it wasn't making a great deal of difference to my GI symptoms, but then the last couple of weeks it definitely has. And that has been when I've not been taking AC Formula 2 so I do think that there is something in that so I'm not going to take it today and I'm going to email my Lyme doctor and see what he says. I'm hopeful that it'll pass soon because it usually peaks around lunchtime and then as the day goes on it gets better. I'm going to go back to listening to Harry Potter now and hope that I feel better soon. Well, as usual, my nausea lifted about one o'clock, so that was pretty good, but then the rest of the afternoon I was just exhausted, really, really tired, actually fell asleep, which is very, very unlike me, so when I do sleep in the day I know that you know, I am feeling pretty bad. But despite most of the day being pretty rubbish, I'm actually feeling okay now. So that's what matters, isn't it? Today marks the end of another week, the end of another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It feels like this week has been really long. The first few days were just so difficult for me because it was so hot. And then it was my birthday. I don't know, it just feels like it's been a very long week. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye.